Welcome to session five for our Facebook Lives today for our online catalog launch. Yeah, with Stamping Play, my name's Rochelle and I'm an independent stamping art demonstrator in Melbourne, Australia. We have been going through today, going the going through the mini catalog and sharing lots of fun and I've been showing lots of displays and We've had several demonstrations, so I hope you've been able to catch up on any you may have missed, or perhaps you can do that later on. And if you have been with me all day, thank you so much. I do appreciate your time and sharing your day with me. I have got some, a couple more demonstrations, so we've got one now and one at 8 o'clock. So that's my last one at eight. So I hope you can stick around and I how you're surviving the day. It's not too bad doing some crafting, isn't it? That's a bit of fun. I always enjoy that. So I have, I'm just going to show you what I've got today or what this, what this session I should say. It's the strawberry bundle and that's what we're going to be creating with and I just thought I'll show you the paper first but it's not in the actual mini catalog the only way you can get this paper is through through the the celebration catalog and it's a free item now this is the bundle that is as the, at the 180 level so this is the only one at the 180 level so you would have to purchase $180 worth and you will get the paper and the stamp set which is the berry blessings now the berry blessing stamp set is separate now the sweet strawberry is part of the bundle in the punch which is in the mini catalog the berry blessings and the dsp is in the celebration of the sab catalog that is a coordinating set and you're going to want to get this paper because i think it's really fun and sweet paper which works really well with the this particular bundle the strawberry bundle so i'll show you to you and you can find that on oh i apologize that that's not the only one that at 180 the other one that's at 180 in the catalog that's my mistake is also the touch up ink stamp that you guys have been playing with and it's that's on page 12 that's um so there's a couple that at 180 the touch up ink stamp set is um uh, a celebration item which is at the 180 level as well but it's a two-step stamping so they're getting quite a few stamps in that and they're quite large so that's why the price tier it, it, it is you're going to get those butterfly the butterflies the leaves and the having the there so that's a nice set as well, which you will probably might like to add that on your wish list of free items. So that's a free item at the 180 level. Sorry, I promise informing you earlier of that. So this is the strawberry paper, which I'll show you. Uh, it's just very nice, um, I guess, summary and fresh. Hi, hi, Elaine and Di, Di, Diana, Diana, I'm going to Diana, you're on again. I guess it's dinner time for a lot of people as well. So the thing is, it's, it's the lives will be available later as well, so you can catch up. This paper is really pretty. These strawberries do punch out with the uh, the punch builder. The only thing with this, you would have to stamp for the stem and you would have to stamp that separately but that punches up nicely just uh, cut around with um, 
I don't want the paper if you don't want to lose any paper. Is that fun? Paper? So that's that paper, and that's free, and with the with this stamp set, the Perry Blessings, that's the 180 level stamp set. I'll show you some samples of them. You might have caught it on my blog the other day. So, that was one. And this is the case from the, the, the last case from the catalog. Details on my blog. Same with that. So, they're exactly the same layout. This is with the Berry Blessings. This is the sweet strawberry. This one is the punch, but that's just the stamp. And I have colored that in. This is the very blessings. I'm just making sure that's the right stamp set. Yeah, so that's the free stamp set, which I've just used and made use of the designer series paper. Just you don't have to do much. The designer series paper is really pretty. Again, the stamp set, and I've just done it in Melon Mambo there. And it, isn't, it's really nice against the blue. Here I've used the paper, but with the donkey stamp set. This was on my Facebook Live a couple of weeks ago. Same there, just fun, fun, fun paper, cute paper. Now the strawberry bundle is on page 44, sweet, sweet strawberry bundle. So it is $55.75. So if you want to add some inks or something and then wait maybe $19, you will get a free set, uh, a free uh, celebration set. So we have got, this is the card we're going to make today and I just I'm going to be using my blender brushes but I wanted to show you this is what you know how we used the blending brushes earlier I went and washed them I mean they're still wet but they wash really well it's come up really clean so you can see it I'm just gonna leave them to dry but but that's how clean it is I've done this because the background is um, very vanilla. My, I picked my card. Now, I don't use a lot of very vanilla, so it was really good that I could use it. So I've got heaps of very vanilla card stuff in there. Oh my goodness. This is all the little card stuff. Bone folder. If you don't have it in your tools, uh, essential supplies, you do need one. Important part of your tools. So it gives you nice crisp edges for your card stuff. So for starters, we will just stick our piece of DSP. So that's the Pacific Point card stuff is at 9.9 .9 by 14.2, and the DSP is at 9.9. 3 by 13.6, just regular cuts. You can have a larger map if you want, like purely, there's no choice. Sometimes I do one large, one small, one, one at one centimeter gap, one at 0 0.6. 0 0.6 is my general gap between on each side. And I'll just glue that down here. I have a piece of Pampers as cardstock. This is five centimeters wide and it's just over 10.5 centimeters in length. 
and I'm just going to use my triple banner punch and we're just going to insert that straight here and that just cuts the banner in the back of that. I'm just going to check if that is, so that's too long. I've cut it, I didn't want to cut it too short so I did give it a bit extra length. So I'm going to cut just eyeball it and cut it a bit shorter. I like to give myself more length than not enough, so that's about right. So probably 9.9 nine uh, 5 centimeters by 9.5 would have been enough and then enough to cut your banner. Now, so I'm going to take my just shade in. And I've got another stamping blend, a stepping blend, bigger pattern, uh, blending brush. And we'll just stamp the ink on it. And I'm just adding some color onto the paper side. Just let's give us a nice blend on that a variation in color. But it's subtle. See that nice variation in that? I, I just love, love that effect. So you don't have to color a whole piece of white or very vanilla car stuff. Just use the actual color that's already there and then you can get um, like an ombre type of color to it. Now to do our strawberries, I've got a strip of cardstock here and we need to work out which way the strawberry is going to punch. The, so you want to stamp, so when you're inserting your punch, it's going to go this way. So your stamps kind of have to sit this way. I mean, I've done it the other way, but sometimes then you have to cut it and fiddle around and you don't want to do that. So basically it's upside down. And I might do four because I won't got two on the front but I might do one for my envelope and one for the inside while I'm at it. Then I will get copy parade. So I did notice with my ink uh, stamp it was giving a bit patchy uh, stamping. So I'm just running it on my um, arm or you can run it on a piece of card stock. That happens when you get a new stamp, like a photopolymer stamp. Sometimes that can happen. Not always, but it can happen. And this is a two-step stamping process. That's much better, but you can tell oh, this than my original stamping. In the same way I will do the leaves. However, this time I will use just jade as my outline and my fill-in image. Again, I will see how this, you will get the hang, but just so you know, it's going to go in this way. So you want your leaves to 
pull that way. Leave a bit of a gap because your punch is going to go. And as I said, that it's that's low, but that's going to hide behind. So that will be okay. I'm going to start on the left so my hand doesn't drag across. Punches are definitely one of my favorite items to get, and um, I highly recommend them for things that try to show you and just give you quick images. I'm just going to cut this down a bit so I don't waste that cast off on the top. It's better off just cutting it down. We've got a little flower on this front as well, and the bigger leaf. So we have the stem and the leaf. So it's quite, there's a few things you can do with that. This might be trickier, but not really. I'm going to get a post-it note and I'll show you the point that I have other And this will just give me a bit of a handle to hold it. Just a gap hole that that is my leaf ball disappeared. Then, then we will punch the strawberries out. Same thing. And now you can see where I'm running to trouble there. So I'm just going to do it and I can always stamp another one. But I'll pull it. Done it a little bit too close that one, so we can always get another one. Get another two, little four grain. Bag of scraps. You do have to give yourself a bit of more space than I do. Okay, if I'm doing, I could have used them if I'm doing a little cluster of strawberries or something, I could have worked. So we've got four strawberries and four stems. The reason I've got four is just I've got one for the envelope and one for the inside of the card. That's all I thought I'll do two extra at the same time. Two for the top of the card. 
Now, just to stamp the sentiment, I'm doing it in black. my sentiments in this set. I think I'll put that crooked so I'm gonna flip it. Just glue that in the center. So this is this crap I'm using. We all have heaps of that when we put on mats, don't we? To put, stick the bannet down, I'm just adding a couple of dimensionals, but I will add one of these clever class, and I'm just adding that enough to be like a full look, like it's attached like a banner, but it's not. Just a pretend one. Should have placed my guy. Stick the leaf. I just put a very little bit of glue on the back of this. Easy to make the mistake of putting the strawberry upside down. It's a very uh, easy mistake to make, and it's also because the stamp is going to punch punches like that. It's easy to make that mistake. I don't think any of my is quite honestly. I'll just secure that stem again. Oh. Extra dimension there. I just like the colors of this um, paper. It's, it's fun. That's what I think. Okay. So that's the front. Now for the inside. I installed a dot and I done upside down. And I, I have a Pacific Point um, center. Uh, so 
some very vanilla. So it's looking like the front. It also makes for a very solid card. Nice and firm. And I will not pop this on dimensionals. Just make it easier. Let's put this straight down. And we will get us a panel on it. I'm saying they don't. Uh, glue it down with it in the post. How much fun is that time? What do you think? Are you loving that? Bundle. Are you loving the paper? It's it's a sweet one, a sweet um, sweet set. I think. Well, it is sweet. That's what it says. <laughs> but I just like the paper, and um, the bundle is really cute. So I hope you have enjoyed that. I will be back in my next session. To show you a 3D project. It'll be a simple 3D project and another simple card with one of our celebration items. So I've got two final projects to show you. So join me at 8 o'clock for our last session. Thanks for joining me. Bye.